Hello guys, welcome to my uh, 19th video tutorial on PHP. In this video tutorial, I'm going to explain you how um, how we use the get and post methods to send information uh, with PHP uh, to the database, okay, or uh, from the form to a database. Otherwise, um, you'll not be able to send any kind of uh, information so every time you use um, a sending uh, method you have to choose either to choose get or post now to do that and to see that in action we need to create a form and so let's create a file I already have my file here I'm gonna name it form1.php and inside the form open form tag let's type method and now we have to choose either get or post let's leave it with post for now and now action is where it's going to be processed uh, or where the information in the form is going to be sent to to which PHP file so I'm going to type here process form.php and now let's type for example name let's create an input type equals text uh, name this is this can be name um, close it here we can do uh, email for example and okay that's enough name and email you can type more uh, inputs if you want to more uh, information for the user to type but this will do for now and here let's change this for email let's type here a line break and here another line break and down here can type P for paragraph and type an input which is going to be the submit button to send the information on the form now here we type name submit and value which is whatever we want to uh, to see in the button written I want to see uh, send we can type that send and I think we are done let me check this in um, in the browser make sure you have your XAMPP control panel uh, with Apache and MySQL running and let me go here yes I have mine running and let me open uh, Chrome let me check localhost and this is going to be um, form1.php there it is okay so we now have our form and now uh, if I click you'll see that in the URL it changes to process form.php which is the action okay the file that I choose to put in the action so that's when um, we click the button submit the action is going to be process form.php now this file doesn't exist yet so let's create it and it's going to be a PHP file and now we are gonna retrieve let's say I want to retrieve the information of the name and the um, let me check the name echo it's going to be post let me just save the file first so this is process uh, form.php there it is okay so I want to echo whatever we type in the name and in the email so I'm gonna type echo and now we use the predefined variable or global variable post to receive or to grab the information in the name so we have to type 
this thing here, which is name, to identify that input. And uh, I also want to um, I also want to echo out the um, the email. So you can either type here echo post or just uh, make and concatenate here the other post. But let's let's type another echo. So echo post on there and here is email okay so we two echoes we have two echoes uh, hopefully this will uh, output as soon as we click submit this will output the name and email that we typed in the form okay let let me check that so let's go back um, let me type Victor in here email let's type Victor yeah send okay there it is uh, so we have Victor and well this is um, not very uh, presentable so I'm gonna type here uh, name okay inside uh, you have to put name inside uh, double quotes because it's going to be um, HTML and now we type uh, concatenate let's leave it a space here and uh, here we now type uh, dot and let's concatenate uh, line break so it breaks and here we can type uh, email space concatenate pretty much do the same thing that's that should be enough let's go back refresh and there it is okay so the name is Victor the email is this one here so um, please pay attention to the URL let's refresh so when I type Victor and I typed the email I click send pay attention here I click send the process form uh, ch the URL changes and um, now the file is the process form .php, uh, that we have so this is the output of this code here because post variable grabbed the input name that we send and the post email grabbed the input email that we send now <coughs> If we type, if we do the same thing but with get and save, first of all, if we go back and refresh and type the same thing and click send, first of all, we have uh, the thing we'll, you'll notice is that we have an error because when you choose get in the uh, method in the form, you have to choose get in here as well as the variable okay now let's try again refresh and Victor and Victor send okay now everything is working fine now that's uh, there is a little uh, or a big difference if you look at the URL okay so now in the URL instead of only form.php we have a bunch of information here after this uh, symbol here which is the um, in a, a question mark and we have the name equals to Victor then um, sorry and the email equals to Victor Cruz Bastos uh, at uh, mail whatever and submit send uh, whatever okay all the information that you post or um, or in this case you use in the inputs to send it's now here uh, public and anybody can see it okay so the the get method um, sends the information in the URL and the post method doesn't uh, show the um, the information that you are sending now when to choose get or post 
So usually uh, nowadays everybody is using um, or, or the majority of, uh, of uh, websites are using POST because it's a lot secure. Um, this is not sec secure at all. Even, um, even then we can also uh, make um, encode this uh, and I'm going to show you later on the course how to encode get strings or get uh, variables uh, here in the URL. I'm going to show you how to do that. But um, using post is a lot secure because uh, nobody can see this. The the thing that uh, the problem is that if you want the user to save this or bookmark this, okay, let's say he's going to enter a website and um, if he saves this as a bookmark okay with all this information the name the password and the email um, the user enters um, the um, the website as soon as he clicks the bookmark this bookmark because everything is saved here even the password now in the with the post uh, you cannot bookmark or if you bookmark you will, will not enter because nothing will be saved or um, will be shown in the URL okay only the name of the file which is this one here so that's an option you have to make either you want to uh, all the information to be public so the um, the user uh, can also uh, bookmark or use the method post uh, to hide all the information in the URL okay but the user will not be able to bookmark the page now um, you Another thing is that uh, also in with the get method, uh, you have a character uh, limit here in the inputs. The get method only uh, or limits the input to uh, 200 characters. So let's say you have a text area and you type uh, more than 200 characters, that message or um, uh, the input. Uh, you type 200 uh, that will not be sent okay it's a uh, character uh, limit that the get method has the post method doesn't have any limit so you can type as many characters as you want in the inputs okay so that's the drawback in the get method I usually use post method um, but um, the get method uh, we will also use the get method in some situations in our course in our videos in this course but uh, normally I would uh, use post method now I'm going to talk about uh, another um, another thing that you can use which is the request variable the request variable is something that we type in here and the request the difference between uh, get post and request here in this uh, PHP script or in this uh, in this variables is that request uh, holds either post okay post method or the get method okay either get method or post method here in the form the request here will grab um, any kind of information you are sending in that form okay so if uh, if some uh, if you type some um, some forms in the beginning of the project and you don't remember if you typed get or post you can always uh, choose the request variable so either you put uh, post or method or sorry post or get the request will grab those uh, values uh, this is all for now uh, for this video now you know how uh, get post and request works and if you have any questions just send me a message or post your comments in the um, comment section um, and see you guys in the next video bye